everyone welcome back to NIIT today we will explore what a proxy is what a proxy server does and why you have probably already used one without even knowing it let's dive in let's start simple a proxy is like a middleman between you and the internet when you try to visit a website instead of connecting directly your request is sent to a proxy server that server then connects to the website for you grabs the data and sends it back to you. To the website, it looks like the request came from the proxy, not you. Think of it like a waiter in a restaurant. You don't go to the kitchen yourself. You tell the waiter what you want. They bring it to you. In this case, you're the user. The kitchen is the internet and the proxy server is your waiter. You never deal with the kitchen directly. And that's exactly how proxies work on the internet. Okay, but why do we need a proxy at all? Here are a few reasons. It hides your IP address, which means websites can't easily track where you are really from. It lets companies and schools control access, like blocking social media. It can speed things up by catching frequently visited sites. It adds a layer of security, acting like a shield between your device and potential online threats. And it can bypass restrictions, helping you view content not available in your region. A proxy server is the actual system or software that acts as the middleman. It receives your web request, sends it to the internet and brings the response back. You can think of it as a traffic director. It decides where data should go and who should see what. Not all proxies are the same. Let's look at the most common types. A forward proxy works on behalf of the user, like helping you access blog content or browse privately. A reverse proxy works the other way. It sits in front of a website or server to protect it from too many requests. A transparent proxy is used without your knowledge, often in schools or offices to monitor or filter traffic. And anonymous proxies are all about privacy. They hide who you are completely. You've probably seen proxies in action even if you didn't realize it. Ever tried to open Facebook at school and found it blocked? That's a proxy at work. Used a VPN to stream a show from another country? VPNs often use proxy servers. Tried to open YouTube at work and couldn't? Yep, also a proxy filtering your access. Like most tools, proxies have advantages and limitations. They give you more control and privacy. They can make browsing faster and more secure, but some proxies may slow things down or get blocked by websites. And if not set up properly, they might create more problems than solve. To summarize, a proxy is your digital middleman. It helps you stay anonymous, access restricted content, control browsing and improve speed. Whether at school, work or home, proxies are silently working in the background. Alright, that's a wrap. Join NIIT's program today and take the first step towards securing your future. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more career insights and drop a comment on which tool you are more excited about. See you in the next one.